Bare Printed Circuit Board Electrical Test by Bay Area Circuits. Visual inspections can be done on two-layer PCBs to catch any problems. This is not possible, however, on multi-layer boards with four or more layers. The only way to verify the boards are electrically sound is to perform an electrical test. This video will give a brief overview of bare printed circuit board electrical test. Here's the main items that we'll cover. The two primary machine types used for testing, key terms to know, defining what is being tested, and a brief overview of the IPC 9252 test guidelines. The two primary test machines used are Flying Probe and Universal Grid. Here are two Flying Probe test machines. Flying Probe does not require a fixture since the probe moves around to all the test points. The board is placed in the machine either manually or automatically and tested. Universal Grid, however, requires a fixture in order to conduct the test. Universal grid may be referred to as clamshell or beta nails test. Here are some of the key terms that you need to know. First, a net is a single string of points or connections from the first source point to the last point, including component LANs and vias. We'll illustrate this here in a moment. A net list is a list of alphanumeric locations that are used to describe a group of two or more points that are electrically common. An opens test is a check to make sure that there is current flow from one node to the next for every net on the board. A shorts test is a check to make sure that no current flows between separate nets by measuring the amount of resistance between them. A 100% netless test will check every node on every net on the board. An optimized netless test will check every end of net for all nets on the board and selected intermediate nodes on the board. Again, a net is a single string of points or connections from the first source point to the last point, including component lands and vias. A net list is a list of alphanumeric locations that are used to describe a group of two or more points that are electrically common. So what's actually being tested? The test of the board will use either capacitance or resistance. An opens test or continuity test will test for opens and shorts by sending an electrical charge on the net and then probe each net to measure the induced capacity. That measurement will show if there is an open or an incomplete connection in a net. A resistance test measures resistance as the current flows through a conductor trace. That is measured in ohms. This measurement will show if there is a short where two connections in a net are crossed. IPC 9252 guidelines and requirements for electrical testing of unpopulated printed circuit boards states that 100% continuity and isolation electrical test is the confirmation that the actual electrical interconnect of conductive nodes matches a proven reference source, including but not limited to CAD, CAM, digital data, master pattern artwork, or release drawings. What does that mean? It means that an optimized net list test is sufficient to meet the guideline for testing of bare printed circuit boards. Bay Area Circuits will test for opens and shorts based on optimized data from the Gerber files. What's it mean for you? When a bare circuit board is electrically tested, you can be guaranteed that it is 100% electrically sound. This assumes that the board has been designed correctly. It is rare that a circuit board can pass a bare board electrical test and still not function correctly because of a problem with the design. What does that mean for us as a manufacturer? We measure the pass fail rate of PCBs in our quality improvement process, which results in a higher quality product being delivered to you. If you have questions, give us a call toll free at 1-855-811-1975 or email us support at bacircuits.com or visit our website, bayareacircuits.com.